First, in choosing a good treatment plan, it's always helpful to identify what problem we're trying to solve. With atrial fibrillation, the goals to work out with your provider will most likely include a plan to maintain your heart rate within a relatively normal range. Restore a normal heart rhythm, if possible. Prevent blood clots from forming and causing strokes. Atrial fibrillation is trickier. There's one form of treatment that is evidence-based that you line up 10 cardiologists and they'll say yes, and that's a blood thinner. So it's one of those medications that you want it just right. And so if one has any kind of chronic condition in heart disease, it's always important to check in with your physician and ask them, is there anything new? Is there been new research or has it changed what I should be doing? It's useful to have a periodic kind of check-in. In addition to blood thinners, your doctor might explore these options with you, depending on your unique risks and preferences. If you are at risk for stroke, based on your CHADS risk factors, you'll need a plan for stroke risk reduction, which might include blood thinners and lifestyle changes for risk reduction. Next, find out if your heart rate or rhythm needs treatment. You want to discuss with your healthcare provider which options are most beneficial for you. Medications, catheter ablation, or surgery. As always, the overarching goal is a long and healthy life, free from cardiovascular disease and stroke.